Hey everyone, today we are taking a deeper look at a platform that I call the best AI avatar I had ever seen. Remember this guy? Hi, Tim. I've got a look at a really cool AI voice editor. This one is going to be a real game changer to anyone that deals with editing video or deals with editing audio. We're going to take a look at the latest news coming out of Midjourney, plus a really amazing Midjourney Zoom video. And listen, I know that we're all kind of sick of seeing the Zoom videos, but this one has a little extra sauce on it. Trust me, you're going to want to check it out. Okay, let's dive in. So I did go over HeyGen a few videos back. This was the platform that would allow you to upload video and it would turn you into an AI avatar. We're going to be taking a look at HeyGen as a platform in general, but yes, we are going to also be looking at the custom avatars. I did make one myself, and I do have some tips for you if you want to create your own. So the easiest way to get started is just by using one of their studio avatars. Uh, let's try Vera in a suit here. We can edit by putting Vera into a number of different outfits. Um, wow, that's a, that's a bold choice, Vera. Interestingly, we can even generate an outfit for Vera. So let's try doing that. Hit the old generate button here and then prompt. I'm gonna go easy and just go with a uh, black dress. It gives you a number of different choices uh, here. So uh, let's go with a cocktail dress. And after about 45 seconds, indeed, Vera does appear in four different cocktail dresses. Now I did try to push it a little bit and prompted for a colorful Aloha shirt as well. And also wearing a lay, uh, that did not happen. Um, the bot came back with no. You can also choose Vera's voice. Uh, interestingly, there is not a Vera preset in here. So uh, let's try Sarah. She's cheerful. Hello, this is how I sound. Hope you like it. So taking our model of Vera here and then popping her into a fancy cocktail bar because, you know, uh, she's in her nice cocktail outfit. Um, we can then place her, move her around. Uh, I've chosen Sarah as the voice and now let's try generating a quick video with her. Thanks for getting me out of that horrible top. You can obviously then download that video in 1080p or 720. I guess if you jump up to the paid tier, you can go up to 4K. But the real power of HeyGen is the models that have been fine-tuned. You can tell if they are, they have that little fine-tuned bug down there in the corner. So let's check out Edward here real quick, because actually he's a pretty solid one. Welcome to the new era of video creation with HeyGen. Simply type your script to get started. I could 100% see Edward here hosting a nature documentary on the BBC. Oh, and just circling back to the non-fine-tuned models, uh, you can actually do face swapping on there as well. So let's take, uh, I, I saw June down here. He is wearing a black shirt like I always do. So let's use him. And yeah, fairly quickly, uh, that's me. It's terrifying, but that, you know, it's me as June in our black shirt. So now let's take a look at what you need to do in order to create your own custom avatar of yourself. Now, this is the part that I believe is in beta. So you may not have access to this yet, but this will serve as a pretty good example of what you'll need to do in order to create your own personal avatar. By the way, yes, I totally took the hit for all of us. So if you see me doing like Ginsu knife commercials or something, you'll know that, you know, somebody hacked my avatar. So it needs about two minutes of footage uh, in order to generate the avatar. The other thing is that you need to apparently just look directly into the camera uh, those entire two minutes, which I actually had a lot of difficulty with. I do tend to do this a lot uh, and my hand gestures are supposed to be naturalistic. Uh, I actually found myself over exaggerating them a lot. The staring to the camera thing was really weird though. I ended up almost feeling like I was a serial killer. Like I kept forgetting to blink. It was when I reviewed the footage, it was like, this is terrible. It took me about honestly 15 times to get something that I was kind of happy with. So I would recommend having some kind of script or outline ready to go before you jump into recording for your AI avatar. I was just going off the dome, as the kids say. I know the kids don't say off the dome anymore. But yeah, it was kind of a mess. I was umming and stammering all over the place. I was really trying to get a clean read. So yeah, just be prepared, unlike me. Once you're done with that, you simply upload that file to the HeyGen site. Now, as a note, you do have to also have a separate video that basically says, hey, my name is X and I give HeyGen consent to make this video into an AI avatar. So just make sure that when you're recording your initial video that you also separately record that consent. And about 15 minutes later, we had this. Hey, theoretically, Tim, your instant avatar is ready. Feel free to create videos with it. Also, click feedback button to share what you think. Hope you enjoy. 
So that is pretty weird. I will say that the lip flap in the model is a little bit off. So one kind of interesting note is that you actually can't use your own voice when you are creating a customized video for your AI avatar. You can, you just have to pay for it. Um, for example, you'll see here that if we decide to change Tony uh, into my voice, which I did record, uh, it's actually pending payment and that is actually at the $99 level. Uh, but what is also interesting is the fact that you can integrate third-party voices so you could actually use a voice from Eleven Labs if you wanted to. So if you have a clone of your own voice on Eleven Labs, you can use that. So I did just plug in with one of their pre-made voices. I think this dude's name was Toby. He's a British guy. So let's see how I sound as Toby. Now that I have this AI avatar, I promise not to use it on the channel at least on the weekdays. So it is interesting that in this version, using the pre-made voice, uh, the lip flap is a lot better. Uh, I would probably want to go back and re-record this because apparently I did this way too much in the video. If you'd like to check out Hey Jen, and I think they offer a few free credits as well, the link is down below. Once again, I don't know if the custom AI avatar is out of full beta yet, but it probably will be very soon. Next up, we have Regenerate from Descript, and this is a real godsend for anybody that records videos or maybe is doing a podcast. Uh, this is pretty nuts, and it's free. I actually decided that I would treat myself and buy an ice pop. And an edit like that, there's no audio engineering degree in the world that can fix that. It's just a total intonation mismatch. So sorry, you can't make that edit. Got to find another path or just re-record. That's where Regenerate comes in. I just click the gap between the words and click Regenerate and new audio cells are grown that make it sound absolutely seamless. I actually decided that I would treat myself and buy an ice pop. I hadn't had one of those since I was in like... What I really love about Regenerate is the fact that you can download it as a desktop app for either Mac or PC. So you don't have to deal with a web UI, although that does exist if you want to. So I just took a few minutes from my, I kept calling it an audition, it's not an audition. The video that I submitted to HeyGen to train my AI avatar. My name is Tim and this is my video to become an AI avatar on your platform. Um, this is about the 13th or 14th time that I've recorded this video. I truly hope that there isn't someone, you know, at the other end of this that is actually watching this in order to turn me into an avatar. I really, really, truly hope that this is a completely automated process. Uh, the last time that I recorded this video, like I said, that whole thing was pretty painful. But just taking this as an example, let's just try to remove the ums and see what happens. So we've got an um here, and then I also wanna remove this you know. So let's take a listen to that. My name is Tim, and this is my video to become an AI avatar on your platform. This is about the 13th or 14th time that I've recorded this video. So zapping those ums is pretty impressive. And the fact that it doesn't have kind of a poppy sort of sound in there is also really pretty stellar. So the free version is limited to uh, one hour a month, uh, but it does have everything that the pro version does, including overdubbing uh, an AI green screen apparently, and that AI eye contact thing that was going on a while ago. I didn't particularly like that too much. I found that a little bit on the creepy side. If you're interested in checking out Descript, the link is down below. Over in Mid Journey Land, we did learn via office hours this week that the web UI is still coming along. Version 5.3 may be releasing this month, so that's something to look forward to. The other thing that they've been talking about in office hours is the 3D and video projects. They've been very coy on what exactly video and 3D mean. Uh, do you guys think that Mid Journey is going to turn into a Gen 2 competitor? Let me know in the comments below. The other one that they've mentioned a few times is this storytelling lab experiments. I'm very curious to see what this is going to end up being if this is finally the solution for consistent characters that everybody has been waiting for. Speaking of mid-journey features, I did run across a really amazing Zoom video, and I know everybody's sick of seeing a thousand Zoom videos, but this one is really cool. I can't play the audio on account of the fact that it is a copyrighted song. Despite the fact that the channel is still facing the YouTube invalid traffic glitch, I'm still playing by the rules here. Quick note, if you would like to support the channel, uh, please do consider joining the Patreon. Anyhow, this is Zoom Back Camera by Shahir Dodd.
The full version is linked below. It's about two minutes long. Definitely worth your time. Uh, one thing that I really love is that you here utilized the stop function uh, here in the intro of the video as well and use it as an effect. I think it's just such a cool idea. Lastly, in channel news, I did mention that we were going to do a Pika deep dive this week. That video is going to get pushed to next week only because I really want that video very polished. So sorry, a uh, couple more days. In the meantime, I thank you for watching and I thank the supporters for supporting. My name is Tim.